In this video we are going to talk about how to get rich during the recession. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. There is no law requiring you to endure hardship during economic downturns. If you want to succeed while everyone else is seeing the sky falling, follow these steps. You have stock in Tesla, Amazon, and Apple. Why not Andy Warhol or Banksy? The worth of their creations does not fluctuate with the stock market. Additionally, they are far cooler than Jeff Bezos. Number 10. Put your financial security first. No matter how shrewd an investor you are, it won't matter if you lose your main source of income. Your sole focus will be on obtaining a new employment in order to safeguard your personal finances as you won't have any extra cash to invest. Protecting your job or, if you're self-employed, your business should be your top priority. How financially sound is your company or job? How safe is your position? More jobs than others are resistant to economic downturns. Take measures to protect it if you have any worries that your job or small business will survive a recession. That can entail changing employment in the same industry or starting a whole new profession. Get a new degree or certification in your field if necessary to make a proactive move while you still have a reliable salary. By increasing your income from additional sources, you may also protect it. You may, for instance, create a side business to lessen your reliance on your regular work. You might also start a side business to see if it eventually takes the place of your 9 to 5. You can start a variety of side enterprises right now. Number 9. Enhance your savings. During a recession, you're more likely to go through a personal financial crisis. That suggests that you should start saving more now to bolster your emergency fund and savings account. Grab a red marker and begin eliminating costs from your budget. Change it, begin a brand new budget instead. A budget template in Google Sheets makes it simple to complete. Examine each and every budget category in detail. Audit your recurrent costs in particular, such as your mortgage, car loan, and insurance premiums. To discover every single subscription service, go through your bank and credit card statements. Then eliminate each and every one that you can live without. Although DIYing is recommended, if you don't have the time, you can use a bill negotiating service. Reduce the number of meals made by others. This includes meals from restaurants, takeaway, delivery, and lunches that you didn't pack yourself. Look at ways to reduce your grocery bill. The third highest expense for most households is food. But put more work into lowering or eliminating your house payment as it is your biggest structural expense. Pro tip, take into account opening a new bank account that provides a sizable cash bonus. Currently, BMO Harris will give you a bonus of up to $500 when you create a new checking account. Number 8. Home Break For housing, I haven't paid full price in over 10 years. I've been living for free for the past 7 years. To balance your housing expenditures, look for ways to make money from your property. House hacking is something that can be done in a variety of ways. You might invite a roommate over or put up an auxiliary dwelling unit, a basement apartment, a garage apartment, or both. You might charge a monthly fee to park cars, RVs, yachts, and other large vehicles in your parking lot or garage. My business partner even went so far as to house an international student for four years, the stipend she received helped her pay most of her mortgage. Utilize your imagination. Eliminating your mortgage payment will liberate a significant sum of cash for investing. Number 7. Use a fence for long-term goals and defense for short-term investments. You don't want the recession to cause your short-term investments to lose money. After all, your short-term investments are generally intended to be secure ways to generate a little return while keeping your money in a savings account for less than a year. If you think you'll need to access any money in the next year or two, do some research on investments that can withstand a recession. If you notice dangerous assets among your short-term investments, sell them right once and relocate your money to safer havens. Among many others, these may be dividend equities with significant cash flow, consumer staples, and precious metals. Your long-term investments, though, are a different matter. In order to maybe purchase these assets at a significant discount, 
you should actually look for the assets that decline the most during recessions. Just be sure you invest in assets that will eventually recover rather than completely disappear. Number 6. Purchase stocks at huge discounts. Stocks nearly always decline sharply during recessions. You may fret about it and wring your hands. Alternatively, you may think of the stock market as being on sale, comparable to Black Friday for your net worth. Stock markets typically decline in the six months prior to a recession, and during one, the s and Amp wink with tongue sticking out 500 has historically returned an average of 16% in the 12 months that follow. Additionally, from its start, it has generated a yearly return of about 10% on average. See our page on typical historical stock market returns for more details. Investing in large-cap U.S. stock exchange-traded funds, such as those that mimic the s and Amp wink with tongue sticking out 500, is the most secure course of action here. You can diversify among businesses with strong fundamentals and balance sheets as a result. But during stock market corrections, some stock categories experience greater declines than others, resulting in greater discounts. More often than established, cash-flowing blue-chip businesses, tech stocks, growth stocks, and small-cap stocks experience declines. In other words, you can get a bigger discount on them. Instead of buying individual stocks, invest in exchange-traded funds that are focused on these kinds of equities to spread your risk across many different businesses. You may, for instance, invest in a fund that tracks the Russell 2000 for small-cap stocks or an index fund that tracks the NASDAQ for exposure to the tech sector. Naturally, choosing stocks that have experienced a value collapse and are ready for a significant post-recession return offers the highest upside potential. Individual stocks, however, also carry a far higher risk because any one company could go out of business. If you're a seasoned investor, only choose managed mutual funds and individual stocks. Number 5. Don't get obsessed with your net worth right now. Checking your net worth during a down market is not fun. Red is all you can see. Don't check it now, then. Monitoring your net worth on a monthly basis is only beneficial if it spurs you to maintain sound financial practices like saving and investing. Consider the process rather than the end result when your net worth decreases. Particularly, concentrate on saving and investing as much cash as you can during times of low interest rates. Short-term results won't be evident. In fact, if the market keeps declining, you can experience losses. But continue investing in the knowledge that you're setting yourself up for eventual great profits. You'll miss the initial steep rebound if you wait for the recovery to be visible. Number 4. Use the dollar cost average method. Create recurring investments that are automatic and made every week or two. Dollar cost averaging is what it is called, and it aids in making your portfolio resemble the market as a whole. To set up automated recurring investments, take into consideration creating an account with a robo-advisor. Or you can work with your financial advisor to develop a unique investment plan. It might not be attractive, but it gets the job done. It undoubtedly outperforms the returns from trying to time the market. Number 3. Make the maximum 401k contribution. During recessions and market crashes, some investors suspend their 401k payments. It's the absolute worst decision you could ever make, as was stated above. Rather, take advantage of stock discounts and increase your retirement plan contributions. Take advantage of your Roth 401k or Roth IRA in particular by paying taxes on the contributions now rather of having to do so when your investments increase in value during the expected economic rebound. Number 2. Establish passive income sources. It aids in generating more passive income during recessions, just as it aids in adding new active income streams. If you have enough passive income, quitting your day job is no longer necessary because you can pay your bills. When you achieve it, it is known as financial independence, and when you do, you are free from minor worries like losing your work. There are numerous other advantages to achieving financial freedom. It doesn't matter how well paid your desired job is, you can still pursue it. Costs like life insurance and long-term disability insurance are no longer your responsibility. And you have the freedom to relocate anywhere in the world, including to low-cost nations where a monthly income of $2,000 can get you by. Number 1. 
benefit from lower interest rates. The Federal Reserve normally reduces interest rates to boost the economy when a recession hits. As a result, it is simpler for businesses to borrow money, remain in operation, and hopefully resume growth. But it also makes borrowing less expensive for you. In order to reduce your monthly payment, you could refinance your house. Alternatively, when interest rates fall, you can purchase a property with affordable financing if you've been considering doing so. Borrowing money for investments, such as the purchase of rental properties, is also affordable due to low interest rates. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.